The purpose of the career project is to become familiar with the job market in the drafting and design industry. Now there's two different parts to this particular assignment. The first part is to identify and define eight careers in the drafting and design field. This assignment will be typed and those eight careers that you identify need to have a one sentence description about the career. The easiest way that I found is to go to Google and we're going to do a very basic search to generate that one sentence description. So I'm going to type in architect definition and this is going to bring me a definition. So this is a person who designs buildings and in many cases also supervises their construction. So that's going to give me a real basic overview of that job. You're going to do this for 10 different careers in the drafting and design field. Now these careers do not necessarily have to be architect or drafter. This could be like a framer because a framer needs to follow a set of blueprints that is drawn by an architect or a drafter. So a lot of the tradesmen are tied into the drafting and design field because they have to work closely with those architects or those drafters to accomplish a common goal. The second portion of this assignment is to identify two additional professions that you might be interested as a future career and we're going to do a little research to get some more information. Uh, specifically we're looking for a quick summary, working conditions, salary range, what type of education you need to attain this career, the job outlook, so in 10 years is there going to be more of this particular career or less of this particular career. Then we're going to identify if it is a semi-skilled, skilled technician or professional job. And lastly we're going to think about some different classes that you can take to better prepare yourself for this particular career field. Now this second part I'll do another basic Google search and this time let's type in architect. How much does it make? And there's a lot of different resources you can use. Uh, this one, this work.cron.com, I've found has some pretty good information usually. And we can go to this site and hopefully this will give us everything that we need, but we might have to go to another site. As I scroll down I, I do see it has the pay range. Um, there's a career outlook so this is going to tell us if there's going to be more of them or less of them in the future. And Not too much information but it does get me a little bit. Uh, you're going to want to use various internet resources. You could go to the library, you could talk to teachers or counselors, uh, you could also call up a business or talk to some uh, people that work in industry to help get this information.